The WRG investigators uncover new documents tonight, revealing just how bad the mold problem is at Peabody Elementary School. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Stephanie Skurlock. And I'm Greg Hurst. Those documents also highlight some new safety issues that are coming to light. Our chief investigator Jessica Gertler explains which security systems at the school weren't working. On August 30th, Tennessee Occupational Safety and Health Administration received this complaint, stating Peabody Elementary in Midtown has mold in all of the vents, and the officials lie and say there is no mold. It is literally visible to everyone. The complaint went on to state there's no working fire alarm and no working intercom system, which is how the school is alerted for lockdowns and other emergencies. There have been lockdown incidents, but there's no way for the classroom to know, so employees have not gone into lockdown while the rest of the school has. On September 5th, the state received another complaint reiterating the mold problem, stating teachers and students are being exposed and a lot of them have been sick due to the mold. Through the Tennessee Records Act, we uncovered the letter the state sent to Memphis Shelby County Schools asking them to investigate. September 6, MSCS responded, an inspection was conducted. They found extreme humidity in some rooms and stated it would have a vendor come out to address the system that is causing the moisture and to address the drainage. They would also fix the intercom system and fire alarm. Days later, the district then announced students and staff would relocate to new schools, admitting mold was detected in vents and grates on the first floor. In the vendor's proposal, they outlined steps to fix the problem, including repairs to the upper floor decking and structural sleepers, removal of all flooring and failing paint, and replacing ceiling grids, failing window panes, and molded ductwork. The firm's fee, $185,000, based on a $2.25 million construction cost. Work would begin in December. Until that repair happens, the district says it cannot fix the intercom and fire alarm since the building has been completely closed off. On Friday, the district, which has said the mold is from recent storms, announced the school will remain closed through the rest of the school year. It's getting bad. I think school systems need to be our number one priority because that's our kids, that's our future. Peabody Elementary's building was constructed in 1909, one of 33 schools in the district more than seven decades old. WREG investigators found out there is no indoor air quality regulations. The county's health department doesn't regulate for mold either. TOSHA stating it and federal OSHA does not currently have a specific standard for indoor air quality. Fungi are present almost everywhere in indoor and outdoor environments. Adding while sampling methods have been developed, federal OSHA has not established enforceable limits. Jessica Gertler, WREG News Channel 3. Now, district officials told us that they will address the mold concerns brought to their attention and added they did not identify any major issues with the fire system and gave walkie-talkies to employees while updating the intercom. In August, the intercom uh, or the interim superintendent asked the board to allocate $64 million for critical upgrades, including the new intercom system.